post credits segment. Post credits is where we talk about movies, TV, entertainment, all the things that kind of surround that universe. I am Nolan Chang, your co-host, and with me as always is Keoghan McKee and Jalen Holston. Say what's up to the crowd. Yo yo. What's going on, everybody? We're back. We're doing it live, kind of. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. the, the live for us. Self is <laughs> is live. Sappy fuckers. <laughs> Um, today's post credit will be a pretty uh, brief little coverage. Uh, we're gonna go over the new Fast X or Fast and Furious 10 trailer. Um, we're gonna review something that's very near and dear to our heart: the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always reunion show that uh, showed on Netflix. Quick little hour special. If you haven't seen it, give this episode a pause. Go watch it. Come back. You'll be good to go. Bring a and, box uh, of issues and. <laughs> Make sure you're um, somewhat emotionally stable. It, it really was uh, that. We'll get we'll get to it, but yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna go into the season finale of the Mandalorian season three, and uh, we'll give a queef, uh, ooh, quick quick <laughs> <laughs> blooper Pause. reel, everybody. Pause. Because <laughs> I was trying to say I ain't giving no beef. queefs for this. I was uh... saying quick and beef at the same time. <laughs> 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 you sir can queef, Woo! but I'm all good on the queef side. Welcome oh, to the podcast, ladies God. and gentlemen. Um, Sick yeah. fucker. We're going to give a quick <laughs> review of Beef, the show that released <laughs> on Netflix. I don't know if it's a limited <laughs> series or not, uh, but it is a great show, and we'll kind of get into it <sighs> at the tail end of this segment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the name of the episode right there that's on the reel i'm sorry that's going on the gram that's, that's a real uh, those uh, auto sounds i can just press the button <laughs> oh god all righty anyways before we get you off the rails uh first thing we're gonna cover is the fast x trailer now did we need to have 10 movies in this franchise <laughs> hell no uh, but here they are once again the second to last movie in the projected 11 movie series uh, for the main storyline. And I'm so just you know, the number bothers me so that's much. That's what they said about the Why last 11, one, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, literally, though. Yeah. But, you know, the last one um, was not well received, but it made money and money talks. So you can't really do much about it. And it, I believe it came out around, I want to say, when the movie started kind of uh, coming back out during the pandemic, or am I mistaken on that? It was right around there, yeah. Um, was not a good movie by any stretch of the imagination uh, because they nope. do some things that are completely improbable. I unlikely. can't even remember, honestly. Like low percentage survival rates, but they do it, you know. Um, and this trailer, once again, gives you a little bit of that. Where is that really possible? Or are we just going to watch it because it's explosions and fast cars? And everything? what was the plot for the last one? Was the last one? Did the last one have Vin Diesel or not? Yeah. Okay, that was the, was he the bad guy? Was that that one? I think that was yeah. eight or nine. That's why I'm so confused. Eight. I can't even remember what eight. the last one was. Nine was, he fought John Cena. Oh, John Cena, brother. gotcha. Okay, there you go. I was like, there you just oh, got to I guess I didn't even watch that one, to be honest. Because yeah. oh. John Cena's in this yeah. one, and apparently everything's hunky-dory now after he tried to kill everybody on the team. So, you know, yeah, they no were repercussions brothers. for any of their actions. It's yeah. totally fine. Yeah, because that's what happens. Family. Family. Yeah. Survives over there. I'm like, actually I'm pretty sure that that's almost exactly how it happened. Like, it's just like, <laughs> but just remember John. Like, it's like, it was like, uh. Uh, but what did you think of the trailer, Keone? I mean, see, this is what I was going to say before. I was like, it's funny because these are not great movies by any stretch of the imagination, but like, I mean, they keep making money. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Like clearly they're making something that people want to see. I think every now and then people just want to go and watch a bad film. And I mean, it shows when you got this and you got like, even like the expendables when Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger were doing those movies. Like mm -hmm. it's just, you want to see a film that just sometimes you don't need to think about how great it is or what's going Smiles, on in it. Noises and explosions. Yeah. Fire. And I mean, like, it's for all intents and purposes, they sort of nail the ridiculousness of like all these high action, high octane sequences. Personally, I mean, I've, 
I missed like the roots of the movies, like you know what I mean. We, like we the... saw what was it Seven together, the one Black Paul yeah. Black last one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, son of a I'm yeah, solid. that was a they yeah, should have ended that should have been the end. Yeah, exactly. should have ended and there. so done Legit. right there. What a great send off. Everyone like, was happy. You know what they did? They you know they started you great off. Great movie. Gave you some, save you gave you some birthday gifts, and then all of a sudden they give you the xbox and you're like yeah <laughs> we have more gifts yes socks oh okay cool so no games for the <laughs> no <laughs> just socks so then no yeah i just have it and i have no games <laughs> that's, that's it um, this, this is like oh you bought color. me the this pinata game just... it's like viva pinata sick <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> no but honestly like it's i mean for me at this point I'll probably see it just because, you know what I mean? Like, like, that's why so I said, bad, I know, I, I, like, I can't believe I keep giving my money to it. But honestly, like in the theater, it's a solid experience. Like, I mean, I just can't dock it for anything. But just the fact that it's it's good with the sounds and with the big theater experience. And you got people just like, oh, cut, that's so fake. Like, and you know what I mean? Like, it just, it's a, it's a fun time. So either way, I mean... It's not going to be great. I'm going to hate myself for doing it, but I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to go to the theater and see this damn movie. It's got Jason Momoa. So, God, that you know. got my adrenaline pumping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll um, probably walk out of it with like three or four, like, okay, remember? And then this part, like, it's like, there's no freaking way. Like, even in the trailer, I'm already watching it. I'm just like, come on. Come on. What are we doing um, here? Jalen, I know you were not paying attention to the trailer too much because... It just didn't catch your eye at the moment. Mm. But you saw the first one. Yeah. Um, number nine, if you have not seen it, and you, unless you need to refresh to go watch it at some point, be like, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, there's a couple things that are just unrealistic, you know? Um, you know, you have Vin Diesel being <laughs> invincible. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter how many guys he fights. It doesn't matter how big they are. It doesn't matter if they have weapons and he just has his fists. He has family. And he wins these fights. And he somehow knows to drive off a cliff, hook his wheel onto a broken bridge rope to swing across to the other side. Because, you know, yeah. all cars have that kind of locking mechanism to do that. He knows the exact calculations exactly. to also then drive off once he lands yeah. on said cliff in that one. Yeah. That was also... Yeah. Wow. And then they send a... A car to space by strapping a rocket to it. No joke. Okay, no joke though. Would it change anything if they said it's like Marvel presents Fast and Furious? No, <laughs> like, <laughs> like like he's a no. hero. Like he's an actual. Like you he can tell the exact dimensions double and the shifting speeds. Into fifth gear. I am gross. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, legendary. Yeah. No, but uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this franchise as a whole? And are you excited to see this popcorn movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I I felt deeply that Seven was a great send off. And then I saw Eight and I was like, eh, okay. It was still, it was still a good one. And then I barely remember Nine, um, if at all. And yeah, it's just, it's awful. What are they doing? These movies... These movies need to stop. Okay. They need to they need to be done. And it's not like I get the whole popcorn movie aesthetic also. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm always here for those, right? But like that one, I'll probably do the popcorn movie at my house. Okay. Like I get it. There's a lot of dumb shit going on. You got hot people and cars, great. Though it's all right. It's all it's all wonderful, but other than that, yeah, it's what are we doing? You're muted, buddy. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Do you guys think that uh, this is because the the production company is just allowing Vin Diesel to have too much creative power? He seems like a kid, you know, when you're like make believe as a little kid, you're like, no, no, I win because I have fireballs and I can throw them. It's like we're playing ninjas. <laughs> what? Like how? Like no, no, no. Uh, but I can do this. Just off with that. When I was just like, nope, nope, mine can fly. She's like, yours can't fly. <laughs> I'm the boy, I can fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, that's why I was it Justin Lin left the midway through production on this film because he, Vin Diesel was, I guess, like a 
unmotivated spoiled brat kind of in a way i guess i i just give it this whole like i give it like the sharknado thing we're like it's so bad but people still kept going to watch it and it kept making movies and people still kept going to watch it and it's like one of those things where it's like i mean it just it makes money that's all movies really need to do right they just yeah. need to make money and at the end of the day this money is probably time. still gonna make money which is ridiculous but you know so as long as they ain't winning any awards, because that's the last thing we need to see um, them start winning something. Do you guys think it's actually humanly possible to drive your car off a dam and ride it down? Nothing in that movie is humanly possible. No. <laughs> no. Should have just um, stuck to the I street racing routes. To I'll their say. benefits. Right. I will mm. say that I did feel the trailer um, focused a lot more on the hand-to-hand -hand combat that's kind of going on in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fight scenes, you know, Charlize Theron versus Michelle Rodriguez, <laughs> girl fight, throwing each other through windows. It's great. Yeah. Um, why are Jason Statham and Han fighting alongside together? You remember one of them tried to kill the other, right? Yeah, uh, they don't care. No, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. I mean, Plot, they literally continuity, just lore, don't care. Into... Doesn't exist. Actually, that almost actually, now I think about it, literally every single villain became a new teammate in some way. The Rock yeah. teammate, yeah, I'm like just Jason like Jason Statham, Jason Statham, Jason Statham. Jason Tim's brother helped out, teammate, yeah, exactly. Uh, I was just like, the only even now, I guess the sure the, is gonna pop up in there. So, yeah. <laughs> the, the previous Paul Walker movies, none of those guys really became pretty sure friends. Charlize Theron is gonna become. I don't. No, like, she just seems like an evil. She's just. She's. I'm pretty sure you're gonna watch it. Watch. They get their little fight out of the way, and then they're all of a sudden all good. They start making but out, and then what? They just. Gross. <laughs> um, this is right. 2023. So it's loud. That's not why you wanted it. You didn't get <laughs> the representation aspect of it. Anyways. <laughs> Um, that'll do it for a little coverage on the Fast X trailer. Could not come any sooner because we are so excited to turn off our brains and go watch a movie during the summer because it's, it's always a good time. Um, but something that we are all very excited about and watched and loved and had all the feels was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. If you guys are a fan of the 90s original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... I highly recommend you go give it a look. It's only about 55, 56 minutes. You on your lunch break, turn on your Netflix, watch it. You'll be good to go. Um, the only returning members that was apparent in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. Um, you had Zach, the original Black Ranger. You had uh, Billy, the original Blue Ranger. You had Cat, the Pink Ranger from Power Rangers Turbo, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, not original cast members. It's Zach and Billy. Those are the only two original I mean, like, Rangers. Okay, no. Get, no, it right. like, oh, really Get it right. Get it right. Holy also shit. Had Adam and really Aisha returning. from the second rendition of the Mighty Morphin Power. I get it. Okay, my bad, nerd. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Say it right. You said returning. They and they did have all the other Mighty colors Morphin of Rangers, <laughs> just with, I'm assuming, cut voice edits from the show or whatnot. Yes. Um, yes, they did. But yeah, what did you guys think? I'm just gonna let throw it out. Give me, give me your thoughts. Listen, there, we talk about fan service a lot on this show, okay? And there's ways that you can do it where it is brilliant and beautiful, and you're crying the whole time out of pure, utter joy. David Yost took his time making this little one-off Power Rangers reunion <laughs> special, and he knew every beat to hit for us. You know what I mean? Every single beat that you could have thought of that would be in this special was there. You had the flying car. You had all the love and references to Trini. You had other Rangers where I'll not necessarily on camera were doing the things that we expect them to do. The OG Green Ranger. Kimberly was also in there a little bit. And then you pull in Cat from some of the other later seasons. Just all... All of the things. You have to go back to the juice bar. And then, of course, Zach's doing his hip-hop keto. And that's just, you, did, you didn't know you needed it, but now you need it, and it's there, and it's awesome. You know what I mean? It's 
all these little things just added up over and time. Rocky was struggling, but he was trying and his best. Rocky Boy. was struggling. You could Ooh. tell after that spin kick, he was not ready He's to like, do anything else. <laughs> I was like, uh, he did like a little one. drop no, no, spin. No, 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 I was just like, whoo. Boy was, was take, not getting up after that well, one. T- I mean, Boy said, all things considered, <laughs> you could tell he was having fun being back in it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they gave him yeah, the quick, it was the quick quips. beautiful. It was it was fucking beautiful, man. And all the little tributes at the end to um, Trini and now obviously JDF. Um, that was just ah, oh, it was so good, man. And they pulled a lot from the uh, actual the MMR comics that are out right now too. Oh. Um, the reference that Cat makes about going home to see JJ in the comic lore, which I a lot of this is derivative of. Her and Tommy end up actually getting together so i got that, kind of got out. that but yeah i didn't understand when it, it was even though my like, favorite relationship is kimberly i'm just saying i was yeah. more on that yeah. ship than the cat ship but i understood i don't understand no I'm just joking. <laughs> no but like okay. honestly it's funny because like there were i mean i really like that they added bulk and skull in there even though oh, there the was little, like a board, really quick yeah, yeah i was like i was kind of like i really thought they themselves were going to show up so it was kind of sad that we didn't get like that cameo um that my one kind of big nitpicky thing was that girl was just terrible just I an absolute terrible actress I was, common like, sense. I was yeah. like wow i want this. revenge on Rita you haven't gotten in a real fight before don't do this <laughs> i was like that was that drew me out so quick immediately just everything about her character but I um, felt the exact opposite. I loved her from beginning I mean, it to did, end. Grand scheme of things, it did fit into the cheese the, it, of Mighty the, Morphin the, Power the cheese of it made sense, but I was like, damn. I like. I mean, I know. I went back and I was like, I loved how cheesy the show was, but goodness, they weren't that terrible. In that, I don't know. For me, like, I was just like, I mean, even like Trini, they knew how to kind of like make her character so she didn't have to say too much because you know you could tell like it was just like was kind of like more her physical attributes for the show but it's just like you just that girl putting her front and center just speaking Ooh. of acting um david yost and yeah and my yeah. boy zach had some zach. really heavy scenes zach killed it like, like he was so good in the living room like, oh. we have to tell her like Oh my God! They do have to tell her. <laughs> tell, her. <laughs> <laughs> tell her right now. What are you doing? Oh, like that's this is the angle that I've always said about Power Rangers is like, yes, this is in this. It's in the same like format template that we're used to with the cheese on top, mm-hmm. right? But like, if you excerpt this and you update it and you make the suits more like VFX and lore heavy and actually add some intensity mm-hmm. to the stuff, like there is a lot to play with and i think david did a great job of displaying like there's still complex stories you can tell in a power ranger show you know what i mean like there was backstory to what they've been doing for 30 years and like all of a sudden they have to go treat this child who lost her mother doing her job saving the universe you know what i mean like that's that wears on some people and you can tell that it's wearing on the two of them maybe they should stop being rangers like etc should they be more mentors to how they came up and all that kind of stuff like that again the formula is there to do like a ya version which is in the works apparently uh it's a little bit more gritty and intense and you can tell a really good story with the original cast of jason and you know billy zach all that good stuff so like just give it to us, man. Just give it to us. I don't need the hard R rated version. I get it. Give like you still gotta sell to toys, version, but there's a, there's an intense epic version of this show to be told. And I I'm just ooh, I'm waiting. Also, it. I would really wish they had just given this like another half hour, you know? Just, yeah, just a I mean no. more, I felt like it like no, this was the perfect. thing is like when I watched it, I give knew it was an hour, but it felt longer than an hour in a good way. To me, when I was watching it. Like it, it didn't seem like it was like too quick 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 done see it's but funny it, i had i had like the exact opposite like i just felt like i was so like there were so many moments where i was like oh i wish they would explain that nope they just skipped to the next part oh i wish they would explain oh nope they skipped to the next part like it was just like really like like going through the timeline really quickly and i was kind of like it was treated like an episode but it should have been treated more like a full-on special and i felt like they could have given it just just save some more time because i was like i enjoyed seeing 
all of them on screen. Obviously, it would have been more enjoyable for me personally if they had actually been able to get, you know, Kimberly and um, well, Austin what did, see, what, yeah, what is up with him that he was not? Was it just a contractual, like, couldn't get the money or was there something? Well, Kimberly just, said not enough money, even though she tried to defend herself about it. That was like, straight I, up. She was just like, I knew that fair, one, yeah. you know. Come on. But does he have like controversy but, behind him? Um, is there, was there, there, was there, there was rumors rumor? he was doing prom, like but now. Adult. Yeah, well, I knew. Yeah. So I knew that, but then I was like, was it. <laughs> is it still that? That's. I mean, from, maybe. I don't know. Because no, I was like, he made an appearance in Forever Red. So I'm like. I, I will mean, say I mean, this. I do I think just... there was definitely more room to get more Rangers in the show from. Yeah all 30 years like you could have gotten you know the guy that did the white ranger because dino thunder was a pretty prevalent season because tommy comes back to tutor and mentor those rangers which is why Mm -hmm. it was such an epic season um i think a couple of the wild forest rangers are still heavily involved in doing pressers and all that kind of stuff so like there was definitely more rangers they could have brought in i don't know what the budget was, or even your favorite ranger i'm just saying they could have brought him in at some point i mean it just seemed like there were so many that yeah. didn't make it in that i was kind of like it would have been cool to see like I, I get i was happy to see the og but you know if you're not going to have all the ogs anyway why not bring i would more s- i would say the-, the just given that i watched that teen wolf movie that they made too many cooks in the kitchen definitely would have taken away from especially what they presented with the story and how it all kind of played out. I do think mm-hmm. I wouldn't have wanted just to be like, I mean, I think how they used Adam and Aisha just kind of quick little scene yeah, yeah. talking about mm-hmm. we're going to be six days away from you, whatever. And that was kind of funny. Like, just I like, was like, we're, we, we we're coming, but we're not going to be there. And I was like, well, that's a real convenient way for them not to show so up. We have no episode. backup. How useless <laughs> are you? Thank you. Don't worry. Like, we could have God. two Red Rangers, but we do these alternate power coins for you to use at the time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a, I mean, but even still, I was like, the, the nostalgia feels hit really hard. So yeah. I was enjoying it. Especially Bianca, when I saw Alpha Man. I hadn't seen Bianca Alpha was, in 20 years. Oh, yeah. Alpha 9 or something. <laughs> yeah, so yeah great. Alpha 9, no. But Bianca oh. left like the first five minutes. She was gone. She was just like, she was this like is horrible. I'm like, hey, you didn't watch it as a kid. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> you don't understand how great this is. And also, I think he did a good job of writing himself a good story for Billy to have throughout the narrative of the, mm. the movie. Like, I think that was cool how they kind of they give you the quick intro and then we do this whole setup of where they've been, what's going on to catch up. And then we actually find out how all of this is basically Billy's fault. And he has to kind of go through that. Go through that. The plus the guilt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Between technically. I was confused. Mom died. Billy's not yeah. the stepdad, right? Like, no. <laughs> Cause there was like a, or the dad. Uh, I thought that's the angle they were going to go. No, honestly, yeah. because, because in, they never confirmed on the show. If he's, you know, cause the end of it kind of seemed like, you know what I mean? Like, it seemed like Billy might have been the dad figure. I feel person. like it was more of just like Zach was like the cool uncle, family uncles because your mom's baby daddy's a deadbeat. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what I was. That's it. I don't know. That's why I was like, I was catching vibes. Like maybe Billy was the dad because you know, like little bit of everything. Like she stole his car, and then like yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's what a cool entry point though for that actress in the another. Mm-hmm. Power Rangers format of just like, well, the journey to find out who her dad is. What if it's just like a big, bad fucking time ranger guy and they can dig in more to the, you know, let me see. They set up a whole origin story for this girl, too. (laughs) So good. I really could not stand when she was like running and doing her like fight moves. I was like, oh, God. That part, (laughs) I did cringe. I was like, oh, dear me. Double later. I'm sorry. (laughs) Please stop. Yeah. And uh, what about that Megazord fight? I was like, oh, CGI, Banging. not the greatest CGI, but not it's fun. Bad. It's funny because I was like, man, the HD really makes it look like this is not HD, <laughs> like because like but, it's like they almost updated the old stuff. You know what I mean? Like even the part where I was they like, maybe I would have rather than have like someone in a. A Megazord suit and this fighting in like Godzilla style, like, <laughs> again, like back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it that's it what they did with the CG. Was they just 
they just made a CG version of like the old stuff that we used yeah, to. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? So like, it, did it. it didn't it really hit as well. Yeah. When the Zords came out of the volcano, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> I agree. It should. Like, oh, it should. Hundred percent. It should. Hundred percent have been just like the big suits fighting against each other. That would have been so much better and more nostalgic. But yeah, I would have lost it if Saba came in and it was the White Tiger Zord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god! Jason takes off his ma- or Tommy technically, but Jason did Frank. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and that little tribute at the end, I was like, oh. What a good show. And then they played that little music clip, I guess, from like a behind That's the it. Scenes. That's oh, when I lost it. Don't do That's it. No. I was done. No. <laughs> I can't think. Don't you do it. <sighs> Either way, great reunion. Um, definitely want more, but at the same yeah. time, I get it if they don't make more and they just want to move forward with the reboot or whatever. I need a full doc, like, you know what I mean? Like behind the scenes how everything came to be because he's been oh, working on this for a long time like he's yeah. been trying to get this off the ground for like five six years Who or so to him though oh, yeah, yeah. That, that takes a lot of work and him and zachard still young spry at heart guy oh, yeah. like they that was like wow i'm surprised you guys are like in your 50s right now and still doing this thing like it's not yeah, zach looks like keanu reeves definitely stuff. looks like he's got a limp when he's running around and you guys look fine <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, they were was... all gymnasts back then. You know what I mean? Like they, That's true. they got casted for. I mean, I think Billy got cast for his gymnastic experience. Uh, Walter Jones, I think, was more hit, like the way he, he was able to dance and do some kind of gymnastic hip-hop stuff. Hip hop keto. Um, keto. Yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for our coverage on the reunion show. If you have not seen it and you are a fan of the original Mad- Mighty Morphin from Power Rangers, have some fun. Go give it a it's watch. It's time. It's more. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! When they did it for the first time, and they like oh, yeah. this, did this dance, I was like, "It's coming!" Ah! <laughs> Nicole Fast looked enough. at me like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "You don't understand." Okay. Shut up, Nicole. You okay. Yeah. You weren't even born. <laughs> All right. Why don't you can take it left in your Belinda? <laughs> <laughs> That skit hit so different after my freshman year. Okay, no, like, bro, it was too. a whole different level of funny. Uh, yeah, hundred percent agree. Um, the next thing, this is, I feel like this is just a nice little episode for us because we are interested in a lot of things that we're reviewing today. Um, mm-hmm. The Mandalorian season three, episode eight, season finale. Um, what mm. a way to finish off the season, if I do mm. say so myself. Um, a hmm. lot of good things, a lot of heartfelt things, a lot of action. I guess you could say, yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty dope. Ass it, it was the battle for Mandalore. Yeah, yeah that's the, the shit was going shit, down. A lot of, yeah. Did you question the action? There was some action. <laughs> like, the, the only thing that really popped in my head was like just the big explosion. Uh, this is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode yet, please mm-hmm. go watch it. This is releasing a week and a half after it's come out, so go watch it. Um, a red alert, just in case, again, this is a spoiler review for the Mandalorian <laughs> Season 8 finale. If you continue listening, you're an idiot. Continue. Unless you just want to live your Unless life. Unless you've seen it, then, of course, you're not an idiot. <laughs> no, like, if you continue listening, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, we, don't, we don't think you guys are idiots, just Jalen. But um, Fight me, bro. <laughs> All right, we'll send them your address and they can go fight you. Little hip hop keto, <laughs> or come to Vegas in August. And you, you can fight him then. Ooh. Yeah, no, you, no. you guys can go right on to Vegas. And I won't be will there. Too. You will too. You will too. Yeah, no. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Hey. Anyway, <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> the season finale. Uh, let me know what you thought, Keone. What were the standout parts? Um, overall, did you think this was a satisfying ending for the season? Yeah, I mean, it literally summed up every part minus one thing that I'm sure we'll get into later. But um, it just it hit every note that I expected this finale to hit. The epicness of what they've been building to all season just showed very strongly in this one. Um, it's funny because there was one part, I believe, 
when they do the whole, uh, oh, your backup has arrived, that part right there where they're flying in, and I was just thinking, like, holy shit, this is dope. <laughs> like, just that moment where I think the armor is kind of swinging in with her two, like, hammer things and, like, yeah. Killing oh, yeah. things midair. Like, it just, I mean, every single part of it. Mando finally had a badass moment, which has been bothering me all season. Boy, has been looking rough in every single freaking episode up until this point. Even the last one when he gets captured. But this one, they absolutely made up for it. That little laser sequence where he's going in and just taking out two dudes at a time. Oh, I was like, you so good. Shit, Drop the gun. next barrier. Go. Yeah. <laughs> God, it was so good. I was just like, finally, bro, finally. Because even when he took out the initial two guys and he did his little roll thing, I'm just like, like, finally, we get this guy some badass moments. Like, I'm tired of seeing him just be like, just a damsel in distress and continually getting beaten up in random moments. Um, also, like, who <clears throat> engineers these ships where they just think, yeah, let's just do one walkway with a giant death drop right on the sides of it. If you accidentally <laughs> miss the step, you're dead. I'm like, I, I get it for the, for the movie. It's like, it's, engineering wise, it doesn't even make sense. Like, it's like realistically. We didn't have enough metal, so we just made the path. <laughs> it's just like, like, why don't we have guardrails here? Like, there's like one, there's like one guy who's like the union rep, just like, I was like, just or, like <laughs> we have these laser barriers here. Why don't we just put them on the side? You know? It's, yeah. it's just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but really though, i mean it's like that engineer should be fired for the design concept it's like i get that i get that he's really artsy but moff gideon really needs to think Let's about our safety it, every star wars trilogy <laughs> has that you know, like yeah. when he says, Luke, uh, like, like I'm the your one father. hole that Why they is shoot? there just a giant ass room with a giant drop? Or when yeah. the Han Solo dies, let's if just you're so away. useless, you can't walk across a god redless <laughs> platform, then why are you working for the Empire? <laughs> Go to the like, Think also, logically. It's really, it's really hard to see in these helmets. So, like, I mean, I could slip at any time. Um, but yeah, I mean, just the entire sequence of like those two. There was one kind of nitpicky moment because I really did think like, I mean, I understand these Mandalorians like, like they're bad, but it was a little weird that Mando could take on the three like elite, what are those, the red suit dudes? Kind of, but he had, but he had some assists yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be so real. It was, it was a little... That was a little jarring for me just because I was just like, hmm, I imagined they would like really kick his butt, even with the force, like holding some, you know, I don't know. There was there, there was a little bit of unrealistic I mean, for me. He yeah. got bodied pretty good. He got yeah. one shot in and then they were all just like, nope, <laughs> pop, 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 pop. And then Grogu finally got in there and was yeah. like, hang on, dad, There's... hang on, hold on. Uh-huh. No, Papa. <laughs> yeah, and he couldn't have been more adorable the way that he helped too. But uh... I know what, what took me out of that fight was every time Grogu was single shot running or moving, I was just like, "Oh yeah, you didn't yeah. need to do this." Like <laughs> him, to him, him, him going across the little rafters and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it, it took a, it took it a little bit off. But either way, like it was, it was really cool to see kind of their relationship and like what they can do together. I think that's super cool to see. <laughs> Um, obviously, they had the epic fight at the end between Bo-Katan and Moff Gideon, which I thought was freaking dope. And then having that moment with uh, with the Din Djarin kind of coming in there and Grogu coming in there. Like, I'm sure Jay's going to expand on it, so I'm going to let him have that moment for himself as well. The only one weird thing I was thinking, I was like, she sticks up her little bubble shield. Did she expect that to block a the lot of fire? fire. There's a lot of fire coming. Fire. She's just like, hmm. I'm just like, that's Your shield not is a- like <laughs> this big. <laughs> you are completely burnt <laughs> outside of your that's arm. Not maybe. How that works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I said my one, the one thing I was like was a slight miss because I was a little sad it didn't happen was just the Grogu armor. I just wanted to see it. Like right at the very end, like I thought it would have been a perfect moment to see him walking away with him and it just shows like a shot of it, maybe even a silhouette of it, you know what I mean? And then just like give us that the next season, but... I am predicting <sighs> for season four, because apparently what they said is John Favreau has already finished writing all of them for season four. And they're going to be going into pre-production soon. Um, mm-hmm. 
I'm going to predict that they're going to do a time jump with an older Grogu, and then by that season, he's probably going to get something. Because if I they like don't, that. it's like, come on, man. Yeah, I, I like that idea. You need him to grow up a little mm-hmm. bit, okay? Yeah. Also, just, right. you know, fantastic ending. John Favreau did his thing. Just Dave Filoni, their team All the directors ship, the they, they be, they're killing it. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic way to end the season. I can't freaking wait for next season. Bang. I have to agree on all counts. It was a beautifully constructed episode. This is how you validate how badass your villain is. Okay. He got his suit and bodied Din like without little effort. I mean, he was like, Din was outmatched, outclassed in that fight. Uh, And then Bo-Katan also didn't have an easy time because as great as she is, because she's on another level compared to Din, she also was getting bodied quite heavily. In fact, lost the dark saber. One could say, and that is a whole little bit, like a bit of lore piece. Like that dark saber crystal is just kind of hanging around out there, and could very much lead into some mischief things in the future. Okay, gotta keep your eye out on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I will say this: I also kind of get taken out with the whole bebop and Grogu thing. Uh, <laughs> but another point to be made, as I am. A last Jedi apologist. Grogu survived against three Praetorian guards. He only trained with Luke for two weeks. If you are still on this bullshit about... Was it? I I don't think it was two years. It was like a week. Two weeks. There's no way there was a two-year time jump by the time we get back to that. Honestly, honestly can't even remember. I'm just thinking about this season. Fantastic. Either way, (laughs) my point remains. If you are still on this bullshit about the amount of training that Ray had in the goddamn trilogy, I will find you, and I will castrate you, okay? <laughs> that is not a validation. It's not a reason to say that she can't do X, Y, Z in these movies, okay? Anyway, besides that, great job, everybody. The scene that you were talking about earlier where they're all flying in in the backup for the backup, like that's where I was like, I wish... I was in a theater right now because that is such oh, a cinematic I agree. shot of all these Mandalorians beautiful. just pew, and then Bo-Katan yeah. is in there just sight, sight, sight. Mm-hmm. I lost it. I was like, ah, that's when I blew up the group <laughs> chat. And I was like, this is some fucking Mando shit right here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. And for the armor to use like hammers, I was like, do you oh, just yeah. use it because you're the armor or do you not have a gun? Just be curious. Like, I'm going to assume it's also probably made out of best scars so it can just kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean uh, either way, that was dope as fuck. <laughs> We're just flying through yeah, the seeing, air. I'm just like, seeing the okay. Forge fight there was so sick. Uh, I, seeing her I, in action. There was a part you know. that thought, um, I believe his name was Axe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Axe I Wolves. thought he was going to turn because I was like, they still didn't describe how Ma, who See, got Ma I was thinking out. about that. But then I told Bianca, I was like, technically, it could have just been his own clones because they were using Beskar armor to, But like... he said they hadn't taken their first breath yet. No, I'm sorry. Not, excuse me. Not his clones, but, like, the soldiers. Because remember that his actual soldiers oh, had gotcha. Beskar yeah. armor. So, technically, they... So, I think it was just more, like, foreshadowing the fact that they had taken over Mandalore and used the Beskar armor. Gotcha. In yeah. my opinion. But... Yeah, because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, they never did explain who attacked. But then I was like, technically, they never said it was Mandalorians. They just said there was Beskar armor found. So, And I just yeah. I just thought it was like too confused. Or I thought it was leading to a way. He was like, everyone get to the drop ships. Go, go, go. I'll yeah, and yeah. I was like, hmm, what are you going to do I, there, buddy? Legit, I thought he was going to shoot the drop ships out of the air or something. Like, Especially because the one guy kept looking back at him. like, Just like, why do you want to stay here by yourself? And I was just like. You imagine they suspect, just, isn't it? They shoot out yeah. and the cannon just like goosh, 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 goosh. I would have been like, but it was pretty Whoa! badass. When he just free falls it and then yeah. like shoots out the window. <laughs> yeah, goes. that was dope. Yeah, it was. So I dope. was gonna be mad if he died because I'm like, bro, come on! Like you got the jetpack, just shoot the fucking. Yeah, you don't have to suicide bomb the ship. You know what I mean? That's not how your ending has to be. <laughs> This is the way. <laughs> like, like, come on, bro. Like, we can do better than this, surely. You just had a yeah. redeeming um, episode. Come on. Yeah. True. I also love the beautiful tribute to uh, Star Wars Rebels there at the very end with the fire shields. If you guys have not seen that, that's when Kanan Jaren also sacrifices himself to save Ezra and the like. But he does a similar oh, technique of shielding <laughs> a bunch of huge fire from everybody. So 
That's one reference for you right there. Big boom. Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni. Was, you talking about when Grogu did it? Yeah, when Grogu did it. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right on, right. Beautiful. Also, just a beautiful. Well, it's like, well, it definitely wasn't both kind of <laughs> catching us up to the power level that Grogu is at right now as well, which is interesting because I, it's it, again, I just want to see where the progression is. Like, is he still going to be so powerful and a Mandalorian because he denied the Jedi thing? Is he just going to make his own lightsaber eventually? Who knows? And could be crazy. What a if, lightsaber wielding what Mando. If Grogu is a clone of Yoda, and that's why Moff Gideon wanted him. I think that's where this is all leading, to be completely Son honest with you. There was a lot about clones and how they got going. They had the Yoda. That's the only reason they had the Force was because he had baby Yoda's DNA. I mean, come on. So. We'll see. Hot see takes for point song. I'm sorry. We're timeline wise. Where are we right now, Jay? After give me, give me the six. Yeah, I know. I know that. But like, how many years? We're getting. Can we're getting we a little closer here? to seven. I mean, I think we still got maybe fifteen years, twenty years, twenty ish years or so, give gotcha. or take. Because Luke's still fairly young, so maybe four, maybe well, twenty to thirty, give or take. Because Luke's still mm-hmm. fairly young. Um, gotcha. Okay. But yeah. Mm-hmm. But maybe he just. Ages like old milk left in a room. You know, maybe he just ages really quickly. He's in the desert, two sons. Come on. In my head, it's just like, where do these guys go? You know what I mean? Where are they when the. Well, I mean, they've already set up that, you know, Jedi are still around. So they have mm-hmm. a big old plethora of things that they go storyline wise. I know that we already talked about that they're probably going to do different projects through the ages. Um, <clears throat> also, there was a rumor. I don't know. I didn't check the, the source, so I don't know if it's actually an official kind of announcement rumor but apparently they have been in talks with john boyega to return for the ray movie which i would be for because i felt like they shafted him hella in that last no. movie they set him up to be such a big character and then they're just kind of like yeah huh, yeah go right gets all this face. set up just to tell ray he's force sensitive but he really but he didn't say <laughs> really <laughs> That's what he just held inside this whole time that he was fucking force sensitive. <laughs> Come on. You wielded a lightsaber in episode seven. God. It was just the dumbest like I I could feel the like, just say it, say it. Say it. You love her, say it. I had this feeling. Sorry. God. <laughs> it's the force, you fuck. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, that'll oh do my it God. for us on this season review of The Mandalorian season three. Um next week. We don't have a show that we're reviewing, so I think it's about time we do a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan cast. Yes. Let's stick around for that. Maybe I should have announced that when we did the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reunion show thing, but it makes sense now, okay? It's um, fine. It's fine. Last thing we're going to touch on today is this new Netflix show that came out. Um, I think it's an original. Time one. for that queef. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to put that as real. <laughs> time for that queef. <laughs> God. Everyone's no, the, the initial it? the initial was no, the no, best yours, part yours. Of That's the best yes. one. You walked right into it. Our no hesitation. Quick and beef. If you do that, the episode <laughs> is going to have you repeating it like 10 times at the beginning on the actual podcast. <laughs> it's on a loop. Yeah, just like looped in the beginning. <laughs> I go we're saying loop, but we just don't want to say it again. So we're saying loop. <laughs> um, but yeah, this new show, uh, 10 episodes um for the season i don't think it's going to be more than one season but for the series it shouldn't be no <laughs> um no. the show is called beef starring steven mm-hmm. yun and ali wong who is a comedian um steven yun is from nope he was in um what was the one the walking movie? dead the walking dead he was also in uh, he was a nominee for a academy award oh um okja is that it no is it Minori? Oh no, it was I know Minori? it was the family one that they're like in kind of like a rural area. Frick, I think it's Minori. No. Yes, there like. you go. It is Minori, okay. I was like Minari. Um, or something Minari. like that. Minari. Yeah, something whatever. Yeah. It was like, we got it right. <laughs> um, also starring um David Cho, who he's not exactly an actor, but he's kind of been around the scene for a bit. 
Um, you had some. Who was the one? Who's the one who plays the brother? I feel like I've seen him in something before, but see, it's funny because Bianca said the same thing, and I was like, I don't recognize. I think him at all. he goes by Young Mazzino. I don't know if he's like a yeah, yeah, music artist or something like that. Because I feel like that's a really awkward name just to be an actor. Like, yeah, I'm Young Mazzino. Um, Pretty sure I mean, it could just be his name. <laughs> I don't think that's Korean though. Young <laughs> Mazzino. Maybe he's half. Yeah, half Korean, half Italian. You don't know. All right. Yeah, you idiot. God. Hey, what, anyway, people what just can't show? be mixed race anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Um, wow. But yeah, it is. It was, it's, a, it's a weird premise for a show. It starts off with just you catch someone on a bad day. Yeah. Gets into a We've all had those. I mean, just be, let's be honest. Road rage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you're flipping each other off. You're tailgating. Mm-hmm. You're break checking, yeah. and then yeah. it just leads to this series of events that just continue forth throughout the season. It gets crazier yeah. and crazier. Uh, Real quick, uh, before we get into the discussion, who was more wrong? Who was more wrong? Yeah, I think she was. Right, that's what I was. I saying. think he overall <laughs> was a bigger piece of shit, but in that situation between them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. She was the reason why everything kept. It's funny because I was like, I felt like he did worse things, but she just kept it going. Like where he was like, we're good. She just like kept trying to is like poking the bear, and I was just like, hey, what, what are we doing here? Yeah. Uh, I'm not done yet, actually. Well, that was, yeah. no, no, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's the crazy part of the show. <laughs> like, okay, maybe they're done. Maybe they're not going to argue anymore, and they're just going to go off in their own separate lives. Oh yeah. no. Okay, the brother's involved now. Oh, yeah. his cousin went to jail. Oh, great. Yeah. Cool. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, they found out she's stealing money. He's stealing money. Everyone's stealing money. His cousin looks familiar, but I can't remember what he's from either. That's I feel okay. like he's in a lot of like podcasts and YouTube shows. Okay. That's what I thought, but I was like, wasn't sure. I don't sure. think he's an actor, actor. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, the show, Especially the last, I would say, three episodes. Oh yeah, just went balls to the wall. Like you mm-hmm. don't, ex- you think it's just like this weird drama kind of comedy thing, mm-hmm. and then it just keeps going. Shit hit the fan, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. were like a highlight from the season? That I guess you don't have to spoil it if they haven't seen it yet. But what was the I th- highlight? I think um, for anybody who got a chance to watch that um, everything everywhere all at once movie, it's. It's similar to that in that there is like a very kind of darker, very like more like gut wrenching, sort of cringy, not sort of cringy, very cringy type of real um, emotional thing that's going on behind the scenes Um, for both of our like main characters. There's like obviously so much dealing with, you know, anger issues and sort of like how you're able to you know, share those uh, feelings and um, kind of have that kind of serious talk about what it means to be angry and how they can express their emotions. So, and how that really affects them in their own separate, very different lives Mm -hmm. and how it still connects them. So I think it's such a, it's very cringy. It's very hard to watch. There are obviously like a lot of funny parts mixed in it as well. Um, It's very dark. But at the oh, same yeah. time, if you can kind of get over those very cringy moments, it's like a very beautiful movie. Um, it remi- or a beautiful show. It reminds me a lot of Everywhere, Everything, All at Once because there's so many moments in that film where you're kind of like, damn, like this got real. And then like things are happening that like you really can relate to. But then like it all builds and there's like weird things happening at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um and I know you'll know what I'm talking about kind of near the end there where they have like the more kind of artsy-ish weird scenes. Like, And I think the way that they kind of wrap it up in a nice, beautiful little bow at the very end um, in a very subtle way. Yeah. That, I, was, yeah. I was just going to say yeah. so subtle. <laughs> just, yeah. It no just, words need to be said. <laughs> it literally, literally exactly that. Like, I think. It just was such, and the two of them, they're so good. Like, I don't, I mean, I was Stephen not expecting Yun. Ali Wong to be, like, I saw her in Always Be My Maybe with Randall Park, but I was like, she took <laughs> Shout another out that step movie. in this, this oh, show. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, like, for I sure. She's just a comedian. I was like, oh, you yeah. can act. That's yeah, that's she a, can. Damn like, impressive. and you know how much how good she is because it literally like there are moments where you're like, oh, this. You know I what I mean? Like, the, the, the <laughs> thing I love about this show is, at any point in the season, you hate every single character. Yeah. That's Every a single very good point. At some point, you yeah. hate you hate the brother, you hate the cousin, very, you hate the cousin's point. friends, you hate the husband, mm-hmm. you even hate the daughter a little bit for a yeah. certain part. Man, <laughs> yeah. You hate oh, Jordana yeah. or Jordan or whatever her name was. <laughs> yeah, her her uh, saga. Oh yeah, <laughs> completion was oh, yeah. caught off guard. Oh yeah, um, the daughter is so. Also, the daughter, she's phenomenal, man. She's so that, cute. I don't, yeah, she's ridiculously adorable, and I cannot wait to see her in more things because she killed it, man. Like, I I was, like, even telling Bianca, I was, like, the way that she's able – because usually, like, especially kids that are, like, younger in that age, you can tell, like, they're being prompted to, like, show an emotion because it's kind of just, like, they're kind of, like, trying to too much or, or whatever. But her, like, it just felt it so natural. natural. Yeah, she just absolutely killed it. Um, so I don't know who she is, but look out for that little girl because she looks like she's gonna be a star. She killed that role, but um, and the husband, another one, just I mean the Weird whole guy, the whole guy, cast. But... yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but the whole cast. I mean, like like we've been, I mean, we've mentioned here before, especially when it came to like the uh, the recent um, Oscar winners, like just you know, cast more Asian people. You know, give this them give them a Emmy. Like, yeah, no, legit, this, legit. This show was good. It was phenomenal. That's why I said it's like it's cringy. It's hard to watch, and if you can get over that part of it, it's just an absolutely beautiful show. And I just, yeah, Jalen, don't to, give it a watch. Yeah, props to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to it when I get to it. All right, you can just <laughs> slide off. Okay. <laughs> you better watch. We'll just it. watch it together in Vegas. Oh, yeah. You know that's right. We'll watch it in Vegas. God. Or you have a choice: watch the full series or go to Vegas. We all show up. At, we all show up at your house and kidnap you to bring you to Vegas. <laughs> it's like watch a show, or we all buy tickets to the zoo. We kidnap and pick you, you up and... and drop you off in the hills of the valley in LA, uh. and we'll make you eat random plants off the ground. But yeah, other than that, um, if yeah. you guys haven't seen Beef. Go give it a check. Um, it's definitely a great show. Netflix, once again, showing that when they put their mind to it, their shows are some of the best shows out there on streaming services. Um, but I think that'll do it. Anything else you guys want to touch on before we get going? No. All right. What a great Gosh, that, <laughs> was like the only thing I'm going to say is, gosh, that girl that they cast as Nani for Lilo and Stitch better be white. <laughs> I thought she was... Filipino, dude. Somebody, there was some says article that Latino? says there's some that say she's Hawaiian. There's some that say she's not. If she's not Hawaiian, she better be recast. I'm just but saying. Are the people who are saying I that know. she's Hawaiian not know the difference between Hawaiian and local? Hawaiian? Yeah, there. Trust me, they are. There's a lot of that. They think because she's from Hawaii that she's Hawaiian. That's a big misunderstanding in the world. I'm not gonna lie. I had to explain that to a lot of people when I first moved to California. But yes, there's a big difference. So that girl better be Hawaiian, or they better recast her. Just gonna put that out I think, there. Um, even even if she passes Hawaiian for the general public and can sing and deliver nope. a good performance, the blood has to be there. Because it, it's, it's it's the it's same the core, as saying it's the core of the story. This is be like the same you know as saying I mean? she's she's yeah. brown enough to play Native American. Let's stop doing this thing where we just. Say whoever's brown can be brown. Like she's Momoa, not Hawaiian. A Brazilian. Nani is a Hawaiian girl with a Hawaiian sister. Should be a Hawaiian girl cast. Just saying. Put it out there. Disney, if you're listening, make sure she's Hawaiian. Because there will be a lot of uproar before that movie even gets started. It There's already be gonna be uproar because they're gonna Sonic the Hedgehog stitch. I mean that looks <laughs> awful. I mean, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck passed that on the design well, team? Ugly Sonic from the uh, from Sonic the... with te- uh, ugly Sonic with teeth or something. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. It's uh, awful. Oh, God. That was uh, such a, a good demon show. Dumbo. But yeah, I agree. I hopefully, hopefully, Lilo and Stitch casting um, 
if there is any wrongs, right your wrongs, because mm-hmm. you don't you don't want to be. Yeah. With that said, for everybody who's really being who's really digging into this girl because she's not brown enough, that's a different story. Hawaiian, I'm, Hawaii, Hawaiian, I'm okay with. Just the, you know what I mean? Just as long as she's Hawaiian, I'm cool okay with that. I don't care about her skin tone. That don't matter to me. And for Hawaiian blood is know, what I'm worried about. For those who don't know, being full Hawaiian is very hard to come by. <laughs> and yeah, to be they're... an actor, actress that's full Hawaiian. So if you get a little blood in there, you're good. <laughs> then full Hawaiian is probably maybe like hundreds, if even that. So there will be, we will be extinct very soon. So that's what I'm saying. It really matters. For it's going to be extinct one. soon, Jalen. So you got to come to Vegas and make sure you celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Jalen, let them know where they can find you. <laughs> Instagram at art by Jalen, Twitch at MochaThanos <laughs> underscore LGG. And if you'd like to join me on Twitter for many a nerd banter or discussion, you can follow me at Jalen Holston. Kyoti? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at K O N E. That's K A Y O H K N E E. And you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Nolan K Y T N O L A N K Y T. And follow our podcast Instagram, The Poi and Soy Podcast. Uh, we're coming out with reels every week, so give them a like, give them a listen, subscribe, go to the YouTube, whatever floats your boat, do it. Um, other than that, thank you guys for making us a part of your day. We enjoyed having you be a part of ours. From everyone here at Boy and Soy, good vibes and love, everybody. Bang, bang.